Well, my sincere apologies for this extremely long delay in producing part six of uh, this series. I guess I was telecinied out by the end of part five. The project sort of took a back seat. And of course, Tempest Fugit. It's also become clear that very little of the film that I digitised was transferred very well. There's that ubiquitous flicker of the telecine process and it's uh, present on just about all of the transfers, so I've struggled to find good samples uh, to show you. Anyway, for better or worse, here we are. You're currently looking at a 60mm transfer, a bit of a mishmash of shots from my time in Malawi with no particular edit order or rationale other than the quality of the shot and the transfer itself. Uh, I will point out, given what you're now looking at, that with one exception you'll see later when I get zapped by a laser, there's no digital trickery uh, in any of the transfers apart from editing and applying a sharpened filter. Uh, this morning glory opening sequence was shot stop frame using a timer and a solenoid to activate the camera shutter every 30 seconds or so. Uh, we're in a national park now. Uh, this is the Wandi National Park and uh, we're actually in a hide so we did have some camouflage but uh, my, my camera didn't have a blimp so uh, the Bolex is making a real racket which did attract the attention of some of the animals. This was very early in the morning if I remember correctly about 6am maybe even earlier. I know when we got back to camp, which was three hours later, it felt like midday and it was only about half a state and we had breakfast and I had a beer with it. This is a fish eagle. This was this is another example of a, um, um, a special shot then. This was this was cranked up, 64 frames per second this was shot at to give the slow motion effect. Uh, well, I was struggling to keep it in shot. And now we're in, I think this is Kasungu National Park. Uh, none, of the, none of the national parks had any sort of boundaries or fencing. Um, boundaries on the map only, not in real life. So uh, I'm there with that elephant. I'm, although I had a long lens, I'm probably about 30, at most 40 metres away. In fact it charged me, or, or didn't really charge me, it did a bluff charge later, but I don't have any proof of that because I was too busy running like hell in the opposite direction. Not entirely sure where we are now. I think we're in, uh, in one of the inlets to uh, Lake uh, Malombi. In that area certainly, as you can see, this is a really dark day, although I think there's been some colour deterioration here, but it really was a stormy day. The weather got worse and worse, and we spent all our time dodging hippos, which is quite dangerous. And we're in a little outboard, three of us, bouncing up and down, as you can see from the camera work. And the weather just got worse and worse, and you can see the rain there, and it really did throw it down. And, and we got absolutely, completely soaked. We might as well have just taken all our clothes off. It was, we absolutely got drenched. I've tried to give music credit uh, all the time where it's public domain, so you know where it's come from. And. Uh, Coming up now, a trio of standard 8, super 8 and 16mm clips, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing.